So this we talked about holy Navaratris. Navaratri nine nights. Navaratri means nine nights. So and Dasra is also and the tenth day is the Vijaya Dashami. So Mother God is ultimately nothing. No Nama Rupa Vivajitan. Even Lalita Ravan is said to be beyond the name and form. But for our sake, most of us with body consciousness, we cannot relate to God who is beyond name and form. So for our sake, because of the love, God comes down in many forms. We worship as Vishnu, we worship as uh, Shiva, we worship as Rama, Krishna, Sai Baba. So many forms we worship, so we can relate to them. But also God is worshipped as the mother. Because for most of us, right, in family, regular life, father is also important, mother is very dear, close. The mother's love, because mother's love in general is very unconditional love. That is why God is worshipped as mother. Particularly in the uh, Hindu tradition, this is given a lot of importance. Even in Christian tradition, uh, the mother Mary is worshipped. So that is, uh, they give a lot of, particular Catholics, give a lot of importance to Mother uh, Mary. Actually, we're talking about Kali. As reminded, I went and saw Mother Mary in um, uh, this place, uh, Zagreb. There is a place called uh, Zagreb in Croatia. There, Mother Mary is Black Madonna. It looks Black Mary. It looks like Kali. And same thing in uh, Montserrat in uh, Spain. So there is also my Black Madonna. And another place I saw Black Madonna. Black Madonna means Black Mary, Mother Mary, in uh, Poland. I saw these three places I saw Mother. Uh, so, so they also have probably Kali, and then they change into the white complexion one originally uh, Mother Mary. So this Divine Mother concept is very, very important. So here, I told last time, so we don't have enough time to go, so this Swami celebrated this Navaratris in Prashantinayam and for many decades. So in 1955, one of the great Vedic scholars and one of the devotee of Ramana Maharshi called Amurutananda, he came Swami, Vedic edition is going down the thing, please let us revive. Swami said yes. Then subsequently, some other devotees approached. So in 1962, October 1st, Swami says, let us do the Veda Purusha Saptaha Yajna. Saptaha means seven days. Veda Purusha means the presiding deity of Vedas, who is God himself. Because they are called the breath of God. Vedas came there, the breath. That is all. They are also called Apaurusheyas. That means they are not spoken by pe uh, the, the people. These are revelations of the greatest truths to the great sages over time. So that is why they are called Apaurusheyas. So Swami performed this Veda Purusha Saptaha Yajna during the time for seven days. So they used to have Yajna in the morning and then evening Jnana Yajna. What they used to have, they have great Vedic scholars in Andhra Pradesh in a place called Konasima. They are very famous in Godavari districts. They are well known for Vedic uh, knowledge. Even now, and that time, even much more. So Swami used to get those Vedic scholars come and take part in this Dasra Yajna. And that time, so those people in the morning, Swami used to have this Yajna done. They used to have Rutviks, and then this um, uh, the Yajna Kundas. And traditional, everything is being done. Even those Vedic scholars were surprised. Everything they had, one time they didn't have this special kamandulu. That means there is a special vessel to do for uh, the thing. So Swami said, wait. And he brought it just like that because Swami says that is the one which was used in his previous life in Shirdi Avatar. So, and he used to go to the, uh, uh, there's a queen called Chin Chincholi Rani. So he used to be a devotee of Shirdi Baba. So she gave that to him, and Swami used that. So in the morning, he used to have this yajna, and after that, he used to sprinkle that holy water on people. But in the evening, Swami used to have jnana yajna. What is jnana yajna? is giving the knowledge of the highest, which is the Vedanta, Upanishads. So he used to talk about Swami himself, he used to give discourse, 
and they had Vedic scholars. They used to talk about Devi Bhagavatam and uh, regular Bhagavatam. What is the two Bhagavatam? I said Devi Bhagavatam. The other one is Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is about Lord Krishna. Devi Bhagavatam is uh, Divine Mother. So these two, they used to give series of uh, talks and Swami give, used to do that. So morning, this is why, why it is important for us also. People do this various yajnas, do chanting, which is good, but you should have jnana yajna, you should have the understanding of the meaning. So that is why these three scriptures they are very important. Last week I said that. What are the names? One is Devi Mahatmya. It is also called Chendi, also called Durga Shattasati. So there are 700 verses. He talks about the glory of the mother. There are 13 chapters. The first one he is as Mahakali. He kills Shumba and Nashumba and the Madhu Kaitaba, Madhu and Kaitaba. To read about it, see Madhu and Kaitaba are the um, uh, demons who came up out of the years of Lord Vishnu. From the year wax, they came and they gave a lot of trouble. Then Mahakali, she kills that. There is a big story. We, don't, we can't, that story itself will take an, an hour. So that is, comes in the form of Mahakali to kill Madhu. That's why we sing the Madhu Sudhana, hey Madhava Madhu. This is the Madhu who killed Madhu Sudhana, she killed the Madhu. Then next one, next chapter of the second, third, fourth, he talks about Mahalachmi. He killed the Mahisasura Mardana. That is the famous Mahisasura Mardana. Sotra people all chant. So it comes in the form of Mahalachmi to kill the Mahishasura. So that is the chapter 2, 3, 4. Then comes, this is the most interesting, is come Mahasaraswati. To give various demons. There are two greatest demons called Shumbha and Shumbha. Did any of you know the very interesting? You know that? Yes. They are, so these guys, they give trouble to Indra's God. They make them vacate the heavens and they give trouble. So then they challenge the mother just, and they find this lady who's so, so beautiful. So his assistant servant called Chanda Munda. That is why Chanda Sura Munda, Chanda Munda, Mardana, that also comes in the. That, so they uh, find, oh, you're so beautiful. My master should have you. That is Shumba and Shumbaji because he is the most powerful. He says, Mother, she plays games. That's why Mother is called also Mahamaya. She deludes you. You get confused. She says, Who is that guy? I can kill. He says, No, no, I will marry anybody as my husband if somebody can conquer me. Says, what are you talking about? You're a woman. What can you do? So just you know, don't be silly. He, this Chanda and Munda said, says, No, no, go. And then, Next, uh, then th that guy, uh, she, when she says, gets mad, the shuman, he sends a uh, demon called Dhumralochana. Dhumralochana is like a big smoke thing. So he can engulf anybody into the thing and destroy people. So he's so powerful, demon. Yeah. Uh, like torn, uh, like torn or almost just, yeah, he just engulfs everything, you disappear. That's huge, Dhumralochana. So then, uh, uh, this guy comes to attack mother. Mother says, doesn't say anything. Ah, whom? Says, just says, whom? Whom? Then this guy gone. Uh, destroyed. So then, then she, this, this guy gets more mad. My God, she killed Dumra Lochana. He is the powerful chief of the thing. Then he says, what to do? Then he tells the Chandamunda again, because his servant won't uh, tackle. They said, better you surrender. No, 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 just. Tell him to do that. And then he sends Rakta Bija. I told last week, I told you. Rakta Bija, this guy, the power is, anybody who hears, any Bija means seed. Every drop of blood falls on the floor, like on the, it will be another uh, asura. Another floor, another asura. So he, 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 and as many drops you fall, and there will be another guy coming. And from him, another uh, so multiplier effect, millions of Rakta Bijas. So then the mother found the trick that, as soon as he, that is the way his mother, he sucks the blood, takes it, and then that is guy. So Rakta Bija is gone. Then these Chandamundas who are there, they come. Then there is where it's called in the last house times called Shiva Duti. Then mother says, Shiva, hey, you go and be, be a ne peace negotiator. She sent to Simba. Hey, better you listen to mother, otherwise you will vanquish. They said, what can she do? So then 
she chanda goes chanda she kills then munda chanda mujhe both are killed then he says my god this lady is really powerful i underestimated, underestimated her then this uh, shumba nishumba shumba is more stronger nishumba goes brother both are brothers we go the nishumba goes and tries to do that he couldn't so just the completely and he kills him then after that this is the only guy you are doing all this tactics you cannot play with me then he goes ferociously this we are in the 10th chapter then then she is completely he is vanquished then there is 10th chapter then the whole guards are all very happy then they praise i recommend two chapters fifth chapter where which is the actual mother they very nice ya devi sarva bhuteshu nidra rupena samsthita ya devi sarva bhuteshu chudha rupena samsthita ya devi sarva bhuteshu trishna rupena samsthita ya devi sarva bhuteshu lajja rupena so like that 20 things that means if you don't get sleep ya devi sir because because of mother's great only you can sleep some people they cannot sleep that is we don't take everything even getting sleep getting hunger getting thirst getting this everything all the things is with the blessings of god so beautifully ya devi sarva bhuteshu that is described then the uh, in the other chapter 11th where they extol brahma that is where sarva mangal famous sarva mangala mangalye shive sarvartha sadake sharanagat dinartha paritrana parayane drishti sthiti vinashan all those things extolling mothers what choose the camp so that is about the uh, is durga saptasati and second is the lalita sahasrama you guys every day chant but there i will tell one, one <laughs> two things first you should imagine mother's form the beautiful there is like a science they describe how mother is then mother's leelas how she kills the bandasura his uh, people and in the various manifestations of mother and then the important thing is people forget they literally root that it says nama roopa what is she doesn't have name and form but nama parayana pita but she loves to hear the name so but she gets rid of the negative that is why swami said when you do the yajna two things swami beautifully said everybody remember they put ghee right they put ghee sandalwood and arias the grains jewelry and gold everything people said oh they are wasting so much ghee so many things mom says that is not waste it is officiate in the gods so i give a beautiful example like we put a mail in the our mail box a letter uh, written to some friend in uh, mumbai you put it here the people who don't know you put it here how does it go to bombay mumbai it is 10000 miles away how does it go because there is an address there is a stamp similarly these oblations which we put we put with a mantra om uh, shri matre namaha shivaya guru so because you put that mantra this thing this carrying this that is called swaha you say that will go to god and you get the blessings and another nice example swami said like a, a farmer goes to a field he put four pounds of seeds in the ground so you are crazy you are throwing this thing in the four pounds because after a while the harvest comes 40 bags of uh, harvest similarly whatever this thing you do you the, you get the results this yajna but more important swami says those days people used to struggle to go to anantapur he had there to get this ghee man so because everybody want the devotees want to put it there swam um, said that won't give you any good put your bad qualities excessive desire your anger your ego your jealousy your pride that is will get give you more benefit that is the sacrifice that is the yajna which will please god that is why in alta asram same thing niraga raga madani nirmada madanashini nishchinta nirmoha mohanashini nirmama mamata hantri so she will destroy all our attachment aversions anger desires all those things so when you read that you should think that is a mother please help me get rid of this uh, impurities then it will benefit so this way whenever whatever you do 
promises you need to do the inner spiritual significance. And third one is Devi Bhagavatam. We don't have time for that. Some other time we'll do. That is the Bhagavatam written by Veda Vyasa. After 18 Puranas, this is the last one he wrote. This is the extolling the mother's glory. Is by just chanting, you'll be liberated. There's a wonderful scripture. Okay, so just let us pray Divine Mother to bless all of us so that we tread intensely on the spiritual path. Jai Sairam.